Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar, and this is Hotland Mode, and today on Hotland Mode we are going to be discussing Fenty X Puma, which is a line by Puma that is done by Rihanna, and subsequently done by designers under Rihanna, because Rihanna is not a designer. So I'm just putting that out there so you know. Mind you, I actually have loved the past two collections by Fenty X Puma. I think it's actually a really smart brand. I think it's probably one of the smartest, if not the smartest, celebrity brand ever produced because it's actually well designed, it's actually well thought out, it's well overall publicized by Rihanna. And the whole idea of the shows between the castings and the clothing and the locations is also all very smart. It's just a very smart business venture overall by Puma. So, as I just said, the past two collections I've really, really loved. This one I was more or less very divided on. At first I was like, wow, I'm fucking hating this one. I really didn't like it. My next reaction was just, it was too dark, it was too moody, it was too patchwork, and there just wasn't really a lot of thought that I think went into it. Mind you, I still sort of think that. Um, but as I've seen the collection a couple of times, mind you, the way that it was recorded was not good. Um, I've tried multiple times to look at it, look at the show through video. Um, it was more so like a vision of this hall where it was filmed, less so of the clothing. Let me just give a little backstory. I don't know exactly what was going on with the show, all I know is that it was based on Rihanna like getting in trouble when she was in high school and it was kind of like a detention thing. It was done in Paris because that is where Fendi moved their show to. It was held in this big Parisian library. There was the little green lights for like reading your books as the lighting for the show. The runway was just a bunch of school tables. And more or less the show was very varsity school themed. So overall, the collection wasn't my favorite I've ever seen and it also was probably quite low in my whole fashion month cycle. But I have to say there were a lot of pieces that I found that were very fantastic. And I mean, I know that doesn't even make any grammatical sense, but I really did find them very fantastic. Um, I think that my favorite pieces are probably the varsity sweatsuit that is just a full one piece sweatsuit that has, you know, you could see the boobs and they were, they flared out on the feet and the hands. I love that. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I still love the big long sleeve crop top sweaters that she did. She did that multiple times throughout the show. I think Stella Maxwell was wearing one and cut right under the boob so you could see a little bit of under boob and it was very long and lovely. I thought the menswear was okay. I'm usually a very big fan of the Fenty menswear. Wasn't really loving it. It felt very like cynical and straight and boring and sad. Mostly, which I was just not a fan of. Usually it's very flamboyant and it doesn't really pick a, you know, a side in the masculinity section, but this time it really seemed to. Overall, I just really wasn't like such a big fan of the collection. I think it's hard because the past two collections have been like rave reviews for me, which is hard to get. Eventually, it's gonna be a letdown. I just think the way it was filmed, it was hard for me to watch it. And I'm sure consumer, which is really the people that they're selling this to, they're not really trying to sell it to the media. It is a very consumer-based business. It's gonna be hard for them to watch this unless on the Puma website they have a video of it. And I know that the clothing is also quite expensive. Um, I mean, not super expensive, but like for the pieces, it's, it is quite, it's quite a lot. And especially for the consumer base, which I assume is quite young. I've even bought pieces from it. I actually really like it. Although I think that the fabric was on the piece that I bought was cheap. Um, it was a white sweatshirt. I will put a picture in there because people normally ask me what I've bought from collections. Let me just talk about some of the pieces, like the looks that I love. I love what Delone was wearing. I love the lace up um, sneaker boot situation that happens. Um, I again love the long sleeve crop top. I love the like slutty dresses that go on. That varsity knit slutty dress that came here in the white, I thought that was beautiful. I think what Slick Woods was wearing who opened the show was really, really fantastic with her boobs out. I love that. Um, I love that puffer coat. Mind you, I wasn't a big fan of the plaid going on. I think that is what really threw me off at the beginning of the show. But as the show went on, it kind of added the orange and the yellow and black and the Lolita and the health goth is what Vogue described it as. 
health goth, I like barely know what that means and I feel like if Vogue is saying it, I don't want to know what it means. Okay, overall I wouldn't say it was really well done. I just think it had some bumpy patches, but there are a lot of pieces that I think the consumers will enjoy and that they would love to buy and there are pieces that I'd love to buy in this collection. So I honestly can't tell anymore what's more important, whether or not it's consumers wanting to buy things or it's you know, the press and media being like, this is actually a good collection, well thought out. So honestly, I don't really know anymore. I know in fashion, like, cash is king, but, or queen, whatever. Yeah, it just, it depends, really. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. I know this is a short video, but it just kind of, this is a short collection, not really that much to talk about. I know it's like a big deal, but. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you think in the comments below because I like to hear what you have to say. Some of you write like paragraphs long and I read them. So like don't ever feel like you can't write a fucking thesis paper on Fenty X Puma because you can because I will read it. I'm going to be doing a review panel just in case you want to know. I've brought together a couple of my friends and people that I work with that I know and we're going to be doing a panel so yeah that's really exciting also i'm planning on doing some youtuber review fashion shit so honestly get prepared because i'm about to be roasting all these fucking youtubers and what they're wearing jk lol um don't hate me i want to make friends but yeah so that's it um thank you guys again i love you please subscribe and check out all my shit and whatever i don't know ttyl